I'm very, very happy to finally announce I found the right fabric. This one right here looks different depending on how the light hits it. it. Has like a little bit of a shine, but not too much. It feels very soft, but not too much. It doesn't have any like stroke pattern, no matter how you kind of touch it. It has like a consistent look. It goes very well with like the MacBook kind of look. Strong, it's so thick that I won't need anything else to cover the absorbing material. Like no particles can go through this. And this is like non-flammable, which makes it a lot more expensive, unfortunately, but safety always first. And this means I can order it now, call them, negotiate and try to lower the price a little. And it should arrive this week, maybe latest Monday, and then the entire studio building phase, like the hardcore phase of just building, 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 can finally start. So far I've built all of these blocks, which just took me like a day. They will be filled with absorbing material covered by the fabric. I also already started placing in the floor just test place it because there will be stuff that goes underneath to make it really absorbing. Also still waiting for that. That company is a huge mess. I'm really annoyed by them. Put more of that in a future video. And once I got the fabric and the floor stuff, all of this will be built. I've now also have an idea of how to build the doors. Like this big one will be the main door. I will build two doors that open simultaneously and close again. This way both doors, since the, the door gap is twice as big as one of the other elements, both doors can also be covered in the fabric. And then if you're in the room and look around, everything will look the same, even the door. So you won't even be really able to spot the door. You know how much I love symmetry. <laughs> so the door is offset, which really upset me. But now with this kind of method, having two doors, same width as the other blocks, it will be seamless integrated. And that's the kind of stuff I absolutely love now. Um, business stuff, emails, a little bit of music making. I've worked on a song this entire day that I actually already wanted to delete. It's called Save the Day. I've already showcased and played it in this vlog a lot. You heard it in today's video in the intro and I'm still not 100% happy about how it sounds. Like musically, it's all fine. The vocals are great, but the mixing, I don't know. It's just not like gluing well together. It's not balanced nice. So I'll have to spend a couple more hours and try and figure out what it actually is. Sometimes there are elements in there that do not work. Usually the kick is the first that I address. Changing the kick usually opens up the entire track and makes everything easier. On a side note, by the way, I got a new plugin that is called, let me check, by Mitra Plux. It's called Loudness Penalty. A lot of label people are using it more and more. It basically, wait, let me turn, let me turn it on. It shows you the loudness penalty you will receive because all platforms nowadays reduce the volume of all songs to make them equally as loud. So if you're listening to music in a store that the songs do not jump up and down. And for example, this song right here, fully through the master chain, would be reduced by 4.9 dB on YouTube. On Spotify by four, title 4.9 it gives you for any kind of store music store it gives you like the value that it will be punished this definitely means that you can actually make your song less hard driven into the limiter have more dynamics and still be as loud as everyone else's song because they're getting the penalty and you don't if you're interested i'll just link it down below you can get it as a plugin version but there's also a version where you just upload it in your browser and it will detect the loudness penalties for your songs. There's just one little catch. A lot of people still don't go by this. They still make it as loud as possible because there's still stores where you download it. And for them, it's more important that the song is the same everywhere than actually getting that penalty. Also for DJ club tracks, 
you download them. But I think in a couple of years, streaming, DJing will be the thing. I mean, it already started now a little. And I don't know what's happening with my MacBook. I think it doesn't like to be close while running logic. Once I built a new studio upstairs, I will like, the MacBook will be in another room fully cooled, never ever again this kind of issue. It's just annoying. Or maybe I should get the Mac Pro. <laughs> it's too expensive, way too expensive, unfortunately. By the way, I thought today again to start like this little segment within my vlog where you guys sent me pics of your studio, because I'm talking all about mine building it and I also need some inspiration of your studios. So why not just like on Instagram, post a picture of your studio or pick an old one that you already posted, tag me in there. That's really important. You need to tag me so I can see it on my page. Also for everyone else interested in seeing everyone else's studio that are part of this community right here, on my Instagram in the tagged tab, you'll find everyone else's studio. And tomorrow or on another day, I'll present all of them, give some advice how to improve that studio and maybe steal an idea here or there or just watch some, some gear porn. Speaking of porn, it's time for... Hello. Hi. Are you ready for some porn? What? Food porn, don't worry, food porn. Just food porn. Yeah. Is that fine for you? That's okay. Welcome to our first, what are they called? Like when you shop something and you show everyone. We do a little haul. Haul, haul video, our first one. And we went to the biggest store in town that has the biggest packages. But we didn't buy them. Yeah, we stayed strong. I know. Just one snack or maybe three. What happened? I'm so hungry. <laughs> This one right here is the biggest sin. I told Vanessa just one one chocolate. She bought like the fun pack. It's one packet. Yeah, it's one packet. Yeah, very small. And then um meat. Yeah, I don't eat that much meat, just like maybe once <laughs> a week. No, honestly, like once yeah, per I, week. I know. It, but it doesn't look today, like it, but... since we can't go outside and eat good meat, we bought some really, really good meat. Yeah. This one right here. It's quite expensive. But it's the tiniest piece I found. Yeah, of course, the tiniest. It is. And this is your favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's like Therese Major, Major steak, which is really, really, really tasty. My favorite store, um, my favorite restaurant always has it. It's very, very expensive. But very good. And now I got it for like a tenth of the price. And since we got this new machine, I'll show you in a second. We you can... haven't showed it yet in your vlog? Maybe once, but on Instagram every day because I'm making pizza with it every single day. Right? Every single day pizza. Yeah, it's, it's pizza diet. Pizza diet, yeah. It's really, really good. Anyways, so let's make some... evening every single evening I do the same thing and that is continuing planning the studio all of the details ordering more stuff luckily now all of this fabric stuff solved I had over 60 samples to find the perfect fabric huge thanks to Misha Jacobi he's the one that builds these really 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 epic looking studios he helped me with the fabric a little bit and some other stuff concerning the studio as you know I'm working with three people together planning all of the acoustics planning the building and everything due to the virus they're of course not with me in the studio but them checking everything helps a lot so yeah Thanks a lot for watching and if you're interested to tag me on Instagram on one of your studio pictures to be featured here on this channel and share with the world your amazing home studio, DIY studio, multi-million dollar studio, just check out my Instagram first link in the description tomorrow back again 
in the studio.